We're visiting with NBC's Nick Luck about the European flavor to the Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Cup. And Nick, let's start with Empress Josephine, who uh, ran a good third for Aidan O'Brien in against older fillies and mayors last Saturday. And the First Lady comes back against her own age group. Uh, tell me your impressions about her race last Saturday first. Um, it was a generally a sign, I think, Tom, that her trajectory was back on an upward curve. I mean, it's easy to forget that she was, you know, a classic filly earlier in the season, and then she slightly lost her way a little bit. Clearly, Aiden now feels that, like a few of his, she needs a slightly sounder racing surface and maybe a, a slightly more honest pace to run at to be seen at her most effective. And I didn't think that was a bad effort at all the other day. I don't think you could say she had the absolutely perfect trip. And I think on the basis of that, if she's able to back up quickly then she should be competitive. I mean, the jury's out over whether over whether she can. She had a lot of racing in the midsummer, and it seemed to it seemed to sort of knock the edge off her slightly. But um, she's clearly tough enough to take two races in a fairly short space of time. So she's certainly an interesting contender, if not one that makes you want to to launch yourself headlong toward the window. Aiden O'Brien did this ten years ago with a filly named Together, and she came back and won the QE two. Is this something that he does very often? And when he does, does he do well with the move? Yeah, he can back horses up quickly. There's no doubt about that. The first time I was really given notice of him being able to do this and doing things quite unconventionally was with a filly who you might remember called Peeping Fawn, who was related to Rags to Riches, and she was a very good filly. But she went ages before she broke her maiden. Um, I think maybe she'd had four-figure tries before she broke her maiden. She ended up breaking her maiden, and then she ran in the Oaks six days later and and finished an excellent second at 33 to one and then never looked back one five, four straight grade ones and she was a complete completely different type of animal he's done it with snowfall who ran a ton of times as a two-year-old to no great distinction and has now become the the best three-year-old middle distance filly in europe arguably despite her defeats uh, the last twice so he he is capable of backing horses up quickly and doing well he's done it of course um, famously in America, he had a filly who uh, won in Ireland and then came to Royal Ascot and then ran in the Belmont Oaks just a, a few days later. So it is, it is possible.